Welcome to everybody. Today I am going to discuss about the duties and responsibilities of a citizen towards its nation. Initially we take account about the duties and responsibilities which are laid down in our constitution and after that we will discuss about the general convention, uh, general uh, things which uh, a citizen is supposed to follow for uh, establishing a better society. Since we are part of the society, we are supposed to follow all laid down instructions, conditions to uh, live in that society. As a good citizen, we are supposed to bring a society to a, a good place to live in. And for that, we all are supposed to follow some uh, required or laid down instructions, laid down conventions, laid down conditions for which we will be following it and making our nation great. If they know what uh, their duties and responsibilities are towards the nation, they will definitely be making the country great. When we talk about uh, the duties and responsibilities, it is uh, divided into various uh, uh, sections. First is uh, duties and responsibilities which are to be uh, governed by the constitution and for which if somebody is not following, he may be prosecuted. The second is mandatory one and the third one is for making a good society. One can follow all these things, for example, morality is there, ethics are there. These uh, things, uh, if somebody is following, that means they are making the country great. So, uh, constitutionally, there are some responsibilities which a citizen is supposed to follow. And uh, if uh, they are not following, that means they can be prosecuted by the nation's law. Apart from this, there are some unwritten laws, convention, regulations which somebody is supposed to follow. All these uh, responsibilities are mandatory for establishing a good society and making a nation great. The greatness of a country depends on various factors its natural resources, its agricultural growth, its uh, military power, its uh, GDP, its uh, economical conditions and uh, researches, its uh, scholars, etc, etc. But above all, we see that in case there are no responsible citizens, country will not flourish. Ultimately, this is the citizens which are controlling all these resources and making the country great. Just I'll be uh, showing you one clip. Yeah, this clip is from uh, Mirza Ghalib uh, serial and see how uh, vividly Mirza Ghalib defines the role of a citizen, defines which are the things which are making country great. Assalamu alaikum Asad Mirza. Wa alaikum. Why are you lucky? Where are you lucky? Lucky Lucknow. उड़ गए जब से फिरंगी आए क्यों इस शहर दिल्ली में नहीं उड़ते कबूतर खाक उड़ती है मियां नौशा कभी किले तक जाकर देखिए आप तो इस गली कासिम जान से बाहर जाते ही नहीं आजकल जाऊं तो कहां किस किले में बादशाह जफर तो जलावतन हो गए अंग्रेजों ने उन्हें रंगून भेज दिया और शहजादों के सर लटका दिए खूनी दरवाजे पर मेरा कौन है उसके लिए में अंग्रेज तो हैं आपका वजीफा तो बहाल कर दिया उन्होंने आप तो बहुत खुश होंगे उनसे बादशाह नहीं तो क्या हुआ देखो मिया शिकायत हमसे नहीं खुद से करो कौमे बादशाहों से नहीं आवाम से बनती हैं और आप अगर आज भी कबूतर ना उड़ा रहे होते तो ये कौम कुछ और होती ये मुल्क कुछ और होता जाओ कबूतर उड़ाओ Since the clip is Hindi, the gist is that it is not the king, 
this is not the religion it is only the people it is only the citizens which are making a country great and it's a fact too if we are having responsible citizen the country will become a great it's ultimately citizens who are making the country great their love for nation their enthusiasm their devotion their respect for the nation their education all are playing a very vital role in making a country great a good citizen never runs behind the facilities which the state is giving to them and uh, they try to contribute their maximum for the building of the nation here i would like to quote uh, dr apj kalam that don't think what the country is giving to you just think what you can give to the country constitutionally there are some responsibilities which a citizen is supposed to follow you can't escape uh, from these uh, duties and responsibilities not only that we have to obey the laws of the nation we have to safeguard the country we have to safeguard its uh, resources we have to safeguard its property we have to look for national integrity and all these things are important for us and if we are bypassing uh, as a citizen we can be liable to be punished just to make it clear uh, what are the duties which uh, one is supposed to follow as per our constitution these are the duties and responsibilities related to national anthem uh, for uh, hoisting national flag etc etc we have to safeguard the federal structure of our country we have to uh, follow the rules and regulation which uh, is allotted to a community we have to follow the state laws we have to follow the local laws and if we are failing in this we can be liable to be punished we can be prosecuted so constitutionally all these things are very very important so far as the responsibilities of uh, a citizen towards uh, its nation as per the constitution it is support and uh, defend the constitution stay informed of the issues which are affecting the society which are affecting the communities you are supposed to participate in all the activities which are meant for the development of the communities and you have to respect and obey the federal state and local laws so as per the constitutional uh, responsibilities one is support and defend the constitution its integrity its honesty and uh, you are supposed to follow the rules and regulations which are laid down in your communities you are supposed to participate in all democratic process which are being conducted by the government you are supposed to respect and obey the federal state as well as the local laws and you have to respect the right of others you have to value the opinion of your fellow citizens you are supposed to follow all the activities which are being uh, conducted in the communities for the betterment of the society so one can't escape so far as uh, uh, our constitution is concerned so far as the uh, responsibilities as per the constitution is concerned one is supposed to follow all these things which i discussed just now so in a gist we have to say that we have to safeguard the country's integrity and country's property we have to safeguard its uh, unity we are uh, supposed to pay our taxes in time we are to follow the local as well as state laws which are being issued from time to time if we are not following these rules and regulations that means we are liable to be prosecuted so these are the rules and regulations which we are supposed to strictly follow and that is our inescapable or we can say it's a mandatory very very mandatory duties of a citizen towards a nation please remember that a responsible citizen is always having knowledge about his country about his community about his local administration and uh, they are participating in all the activities which are being conducted so we can say a responsible citizen has got a liability to follow to participate and to help the local administration as well as the uh, state administration 
they are change agents that act as uh, uh, against social uh, economic and environment injustice that means whenever any social environment injustice is being done they are supposed to bring out uh, the voices against all these things a good citizen is supposed to uh, stay informed all the activities all the laws all the rules and regulation which are being issued by the uh, state as well as the local administration so that uh, he should not in any case uh, ignore all these laws and rules and regulations because uh, there is no escape from all these uh, rules and regulations and uh, ignorance to all these rules and regulation is no excuse as per the law it is also the responsibility of good citizen to pass along the importance of good citizenship to their next generation by teaching them how to respect the laws how to respect the social bindings a good citizen is always busy in exploring the ways and means through which the society can improve he has to be role models to others a responsible citizen has uh, knowledge about what is happening around him and he has the knowledge about his community and he has a role in shaping a world a better place to live in and he is a, a change agent that uh, acts out against injustice in the society economics and environmental sections are also to be seen and in case any injustice is being done towards these sectors he is supposed to raise his voice you can't simply sit and say that it is not my responsibility if any social injustice is being done towards the environment towards the society towards the nation you are supposed to raise a good voice and that is also one of the responsibilities and duties of a citizen the personal qualities of a good citizens include trustworthiness honesty integrity respect for the nation tolerance accountability and moral courage moral courage is very very important and uh, uh, so far education is concerned the a main aim of the education is to convert a man into a good citizen the basic aim of education is to convert a man into a good citizen a general uh, courtesy is always required from a good citizen if you are not courteous to others people will not like you so that thing should be reflected in your actions when you talk to somebody when you walk on the road when you approach to somebody when you behave with the others your all these qualities should be reflected so that people should understand that you are a good citizen it's very simple to follow uh, duties and responsibilities of a good citizen uh, there is no i mean much pressure you have to put on you just simply follow what the laid down instructions are there remember that love for nation is always great and nothing is greater than the love for nation and once you are becoming a good citizen your nation will also become great so all these things are also playing a dominant role and uh, they have to pay respect to their elders they have to uh, follow the rules and regulations which are being laid down or being issued from time to time it is also the duties and responsibility of good citizen to spread the good habits which you have learned whatever you have learned you are supposed to pass it to other people and you have to correct them whenever they go wrong and you have to pay a little attention and make everybody that these people are behaving in a proper way wherever these people stray around you are to tell them where they are going wrong though it is a small issue but very very important a good citizen is supposed to be very very courteous to the women they are supposed to follow the ethics the morality when they behave with the lady the morality plays a very dominant role in making a citizen in a country uh, i would like to quote the example here the china was facing so many attacks from their southern boundaries so what they did 
they fortified it and made a wonder that is called china wall so that that intruder should not come inside and disturb their lives since china was able to make a, the biggest structure and uh, they have done a wonder but they forgot to give the moral education to their soldiers their guards themselves permitted the intruders by taking the bribe they were successful in making a huge structure but they failed in making the citizen responsible by educating them on the moral values the moral values are very very important and it plays a dominant role in shaping a character in shaping a person in shaping a country a person can't be uh, said as good if he is not having moral values so the moral values are very very important and china failed totally to impart the moral values to their soldiers that's why after paying bribe these people entered again moral values brings peace in the mind one is able to lead a peaceful life and uh, there is no further hassles from outside to make his life uh, disturb so a good citizen is supposed to follow the moral values which are very very important and uh, without moral values persons are not called as a good citizen it's not the education education is something else but moral values are more important than education so one is supposed to know what are the moral values a good citizen's integrity should always be beyond doubts to his uh, organization to his uh, community to his state and he should be integral part to all the policies and the issues which are related to his state and always he should try to safeguard them he should support all the policies and regulations which are being issued by the state he should encourage others also to follow them meticulously the rules and regulations which are made for the betterment of the society are applicable to all and good citizens always try to support them try to others to follow them honesty speaks of itself there is no need to show the mirror to it a good citizen is honest in all the conditions and situations remember that honesty brings always accuracy clarity and stability in the statement there is no need to show the mirror if one fellow is honest he will remain honest in all the situations and all the conditions so as a good citizen one is supposed to follow the principle of honesty is the best policy there are some unwritten things because everything cannot be uh, streamlined but there are some things which he is supposed to follow and uh, whatever is for the betterment of the society he is supposed to follow always remember a citizen is is the smallest unit of the society so once a citizen has corrected himself that means he has corrected the society he has he is on the way to correct the society so never ever think what i am going to contribute once i am honest once i am full of morality once i am following rules and regulations others are not following following no you are one of the smallest units of the society so once you are following your job is over and once you are following people will follow you the country will have all good citizens here the people may ask a simple question why should i follow the rules and regulations why should i be a good citizen once others are not following and others are not becoming so here i would like to reiterate first of all there should not be any comparison because comparison if you are doing everybody has got different bent of mind you cannot uh, i mean cope up with everybody an individual is one of the smallest units of the society and uh, if he is improving that means a small portion of the society is improved so don't look at others just be willing to correct yourself and uh, try to become a good citizen once you are becoming a good citizen definitely other people will follow you if you are following all these duties and responsibilities which are laid down which are being governed as per the constitution being governed as per the good society that means you are contributing a lot to the society 
once you are following all these uh, duties and responsibility there is a uh, much possibilities that uh, some of the sections of the society and some individual may follow you and you may become a role model for them you may be a motivational factors for others also i am 100% sure once you start uh, following good habits the people those who are around you will definitely like you and will start following you so that means indirectly you will be helping to the society you will be contributing to the society you will be contributing to the community you will be contributing to the state and the nation so hope that uh, whatever i said is holding some waters and you will follow and you will try to become a good citizens and it's not very difficult task once you decide ki okay you have to become a good citizen means you can and then you have to follow all good habits and by seeing you if you are placing yourself as a role model others will also follow so your small action will tomorrow convert a nation into a good uh, nation thank you